Welcome back to Medicine Oz. Today, we're diving into a critical medical condition, peritonitis. Let's explore what it is, its causes, clinical features, complications, investigations, and management. Peritonitis is the inflammation of the peritoneum, the tissue lining the abdominal wall and covering the abdominal organs. It can become a life-threatening condition if not treated promptly. Now let's discuss the causes of peritonitis. Common causes include gastric perforation, appendicular perforation, intestinal perforation, diverticular perforation, gallbladder perforation, penetrating injuries, drains and tubes, ruptured ectopic pregnancy, pelvic inflammatory diseases, bacterial infections, E. coli, pseudomonas, Klebsiella, Proteus, Bacteroides, Gonococci, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus. Next, let's look at the clinical features of peritonitis, which can be categorized into three stages. Initial features, localized pain at the site of perforation, generalized tenderness, tachycardia, and elevated temperature, rebound, tenderness, and muscle rigidity. Intermediate features, decrease in pain and tenderness, bradycardia and reduced rigidity. Terminal features, unconsciousness or drowsiness, circulatory collapse or shock, dehydration leading to potential death. Complications of peritonitis can be severe and include shock acute kidney injury, AKI, disseminated intravascular coagulation, DIC, perinephric abscess, death. To diagnose peritonitis, several investigations are performed. Complete blood count, CBC. Look for increased total leukocyte count, TLC. Reticulocyte count, RETs. CT scan of the abdomen, abdominal x-ray. Check for gas under the right diaphragm. Finally, let's discuss the management of peritonitis. Admit the patient to a medical facility. Establish an IV line. Insert a nasogastric NG tube. Keep the patient NPO, nothing by mouth. Administer antibiotics. Provide IV fluids. Administer antipyretics. Perform a laparotomy if necessary.